Hi everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay and I've been living in Bologna, Italy for the past two years. In today's video, we're going to be switching things up because I decided with a new year that I would see what it's like starting to learn a new language by using the immersion method. So for 30 days, I'm going to be using Refold and their immersion method to learn a new language. I'm going to start learning Brazilian Portuguese, but I'm not fully sure that I'm going to be continuing to study this language because Italian is already hard enough and I still have a lot to learn with Italian. But I want to see what it's like for 30 days, give my feedback on Refold if you're thinking about using it for language learning, talk a little bit about the immersion method, how it works, what kind of things you do to learn a language with the immersion method, and just share my thoughts along the way. I will put the link to Refold's course down below if you would like to start learning a new language and do the challenge along with me. I would love to hear in the comments if you decide to start learning a new language using Refold, and each week I will be posting a recap of that week. So without further ado, let's get into week one. All right, welcome to day one. I'm excited and also weirdly kind of nervous. I don't know, I just haven't tried learning another language since learning Italian. Anyways, I'm excited to see how this goes. Day one, I'm assuming, will not be anything too intense, but we're gonna see. I'm excited to see what it's like learning a language from complete scratch because again, I have never tried studying this language ever before. This will be truly the first time. I'm excited to approach a new language with like a roadmap instead of just trying to figure things out on my own. <laughs> so let's see how this goes day one. It looks like first here we have a before you begin survey, overview, learning how to use the program, how to succeed. So I'm assuming this is something that I don't wanna just skip through. I'm really gonna try to go through every part and see how it goes. Let's fill out this survey. So I just finished day one and I'll say that's definitely probably how I would start my first day with the language anyways, just familiarizing myself with the alphabet sounds. I think something that I've always found really interesting about Brazilian Portuguese is that there are a lot of sounds in the language that are very foreign to me and very strange, but I think they sound cool. But as I was practicing along with some of the videos, I did realize that they will be very difficult for me. I think one of the things I really appreciate about Italian is that the words are spelled like they sound. There's not really a lot of variation. If there's not really a lot of variation, there's very much a pattern of like, if certain letters are combined, you'll have the same sound and the way you read it is, it makes sense. Whereas with Brazilian Portuguese when I was practicing some of the sounds, I did come across basically like an R, but it's kind of pronounced more of like an H or like not an R when it's in a certain situation. So that to me tells me that's gonna be a little bit difficult when I do wanna start like reading and stuff, but of course day one, but it's just interesting to start to like pick these things up. But yeah, I mean, I'm definitely motivated and I'm excited to see tomorrow what the next day will be because I'm really excited to get going and like start actually listening to the language more. It's very motivating and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. But day one, I mean, of course, I'm gonna feel motivated. It's the first day, but that wraps up day one and I will see you all tomorrow for day two. Good morning and welcome to day two of learning Brazilian Portuguese using Refold. Today, Today looks like the lesson is going to go over the philosophy of Refold, how it works, what you can expect, and learn a little bit more about what's gonna happen in the 30 days. And then I also had like a homework kind of assignment at the end. So probably just familiarizing myself more with the language. But let's go ahead and watch this video and then get some more immersion practice. Just 
finished day two. That was fun. I'm like getting more excited about really diving in. And it looks like tomorrow we're gonna actually work on starting to learn vocabulary, like the first 1,000 co most common words. Today I did just some more familiarizing myself with the language, listening to videos, like children's videos, which I know always seems really funny, but it is very helpful. They also brought up some things in the philosophy video that were interesting. Some things that I've already mentioned in my videos about obviously their huge thing is making language learning fun and enjoyable. So doing things that you would normally do on your day-to-day -day routine, like watching YouTube videos, watching TV series, just getting a lot of media input, um, which is something that I talk a lot about in my videos, so I definitely 100% agree. One thing that was different than something that I've said is that they mentioned not trying to speak right away. And this is something that I say in my videos that, oh, you should try to speak right away. And I think it can be beneficial to try to start speaking right away. Just because for me, I am someone who's like really nervous about speaking a language. So I kind of feel like to get over it, it's better to just like jump in right away. But I totally understand what they're saying about how it's just way too hard to actually communicate and form sentences if you really don't even know like anything about the language that you just started. So obviously it can be really hard to actually talk and make sentences when you just started the language. But I think it's important to do a lot of like shadowing or, you know, like repeating back phrases that you're hearing just like a child or a baby would, you know, just kind of like babbling, things like that. But I mean, obviously if you really can't form sentences because you don't know vocabulary or grammar yet, like obviously it'll be impossible to speak. I think I just worry about holding back so much that I feel like sometimes with Italian, I did get to a pretty good level of grammar and understanding and I still wasn't speaking because I was scared. Um, so I think it's important to not delay the speaking too much, but I understand what they mean about not trying to speak right from the beginning. And then they have like a big resource list. So every day they put the resources that you can use for your homework basically. Um, and today they had a YouTube channel that I really liked, this teacher who was just repeating some phrases and helping with pronunciation. And I really enjoyed following along with that and um, repeating back some of these phrases. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, Portuguese has some very interesting sounds that are very difficult for me, like very nasally sounds, but it is pretty fun because it's like a new challenge. And like I said, tomorrow I'm excited to kind of like really dive into vocab. Another thing that was interesting that I noticed is that I think with my level of Italian and also having studied Spanish in high school and a little bit in college, I can actually piece together meanings of a lot of words already. Hearing them, maybe I can't quite figure it out, but when I see them written out, I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure I know what that word translates to. And I think it is because of the combination of Italian and Spanish. I mean, they're all romance languages, so I'm sure of course that would help me, but it is interesting and a little bit less intimidating feeling like, okay, I can probably start to understand a little bit sooner than I would if I was learning like German or something. <laughs> so yeah, feeling good, feeling excited for tomorrow and I will see you all again for my next lesson. Hello and welcome to day three. Today it looks like I have a 10 minute video to watch and then of course, again, some homework. So just immersing myself in the language and also looking at some vocab for today, which I'm very excited about because I'm excited to start learning and studying new words. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch the video. It looks like it's gonna be about how you can start immersing yourself in the language, but also have some sort of input because obviously if you're just listening and not understanding anything, it'll be really frustrating. So I'm curious to see what today's video is about. So I just watched the video and and now I'm supposed to go through this list of the uh, most common Portuguese words and kind of see like ones that are familiar to me and a lot of them going through this list already I can kind of figure out just because of the combination of Spanish and Italian because a lot of them are similar um, but obviously like the pronunciation might be a little bit different. Of course, I'm not planning on like memorizing a thousand today, but I just kind of want to get an idea of some of these words. That way, um, when I'm watching some other videos, I can actually understand a little bit or like they talked about in the video today, like being able to pick out words that I um, hear often and understand uh, because I do want to go back to that YouTube channel of the video that I watched yesterday for pronunciation. And I think I'm gonna watch more of her videos because I really did like her. I'm still trying to figure out some of the pronunciation for certain like letter combinations because some of them are still very difficult for me. <laughs> so I still have to like spend more time with the language, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna watch some videos and kind of go over like the Quizlet vocab just before I start watching these videos. Bye. 
So I was just watching videos. I did find this channel that was very helpful because it took me through pronunciation that that's what I was really looking for. I needed like someone to go through the different letter combinations because there are some of them that just to me don't make sense when I look at it. But the channel is called uh, Decoding Words with Andrew and I'll show you. I just did the intro video but I see he has another one um, called the nasal sounds which is what I'm gonna watch next because <laughs> nasal sounds when I hear it I'm just like how do you how do you do that I don't know it's not it's, this seems very difficult this is the video that I just did this intro to Portuguese pronunciation and then I was thinking of doing this nasal one I mean obviously I might just go in order because he has this whole Portuguese pronunciation playlist um, so that has been really helpful. And I'm curious to see what other videos he has on this channel. I also do want to start listening to probably some like children's shows or like simple, simple stuff just to start like hearing common words and also just get um, a sense of how things are pronounced. But I will catch up with you all tomorrow for day four. Hello and welcome to day four. My apartment is so cold right now and I'm just trying to stay warm. Also, it's nighttime and I really didn't want to do my studying at night. I prefer to do stuff during the day, but it was kind of a busy day. I'm really tired, but I have to stick to the challenge. And it's only day four, so like I'm not gonna not, I'm not gonna give up on day four. Anyways, so it looks like I have a video today talking about immersing in content and figuring out your learner type. And then I will watch some more videos, probably some more pronunciation videos. And I also would love to start, I mean, I think that's what today's about, is like um, finding YouTube accounts that I enjoy. I've really recently been getting into watching vlogs again. I always go through these phases of like finding vlogs kind of boring. And then sometimes I find like a YouTuber that I, like I love. And so now I've been, binging so many YouTube videos, like English American creators, but I'm back into vlogs. So hopefully I can also get into vlogs for like different language stuff. We'll see. Okay. Tell me why I just sat here for like 25, 30 minutes watching vlogs in Brazilian Portuguese where I didn't understand like anything. <laughs> I don't know, I told you right now I'm just really into vlogs. So like I found Brazilian YouTubers that do like travel vlogs and it's like beneficial because in travel vlogs, you know, like they usually show you like their hotel rooms and stuff like that. So when they go in, they're like walking around the room and they're like, look at the bathtub, look at um, the kitchen, the bed, whatever. So like they're naming things, you know? So it's a good way to learn the vocabulary of things because you have the visual and then you also have like the word and yeah. So I mean, it's beneficial, I think. It was interesting to me, even though I couldn't understand, you know, you can kind of like piece together and I could hear like sounds that I had been reviewing over the last few days, but it's still so weird because like it reminds me when I first started learning Italian and I would watch vlogs and not be able to understand maybe like 80, 90% of what was happening, but I'd be watching them like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it just like the sound, like it doesn't have that connection in my brain yet of like what everything means. Yeah, it just really brought me back because obviously I haven't studied a language other than Italian in like a long <laughs> years. So it was just weird to be back at that like square one of watching something and not being able to like process what it actually means. But it was interesting. I mean, obviously interesting enough that I sat here for like 30 minutes basically <laughs> watching stuff. Yeah, so I think um, if it wasn't so late, I'd probably also try to run through some of the like vocab flashcards. But like I said, I'm tired. I want to make dinner. Hopefully tomorrow I'll study during the day so we'll have more time to like get stuff done. So I think that's it for tonight for day four, five? Day four, I think, yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hello and welcome to day five. Today it looks like we will be focusing on vocabulary. So I have a video to watch and then continuing to watch YouTube videos, um, reviewing some vocabulary, good stuff. So let's jump right into it. So 
I just finished today's video and I really liked that one actually. They were talking all about vocabulary and like how many vocabulary words you reach and how much of the language you can understand and like your level basically. It was an interesting like chart to see because I had heard about knowing the most common 1000 words you can kind of understand like 80% of the language or things like that because it's true if you think about how many words you use all the time that are like the most key important words to learn and then you can really start to like at least piece together some of what people are saying and then not focusing on words that are just like unnecessary to know at the beginning like very technical words or they give some other examples of things that you don't necessarily need to know like right away. I want to keep reviewing the list of common words in Portuguese and also pick some out to really look for in the YouTube videos like they mentioned basically noticing like what words um, you hear a lot. So I think I will watch maybe like part of one of the vlogs I was watching yesterday because like I said I really can't understand it that well um, but I think I do want to watch more like um, content for kids or things like that like they have resources here for channels that are much easier <laughs> for understanding. So I'm gonna do some of that, maybe like 20, 30 minutes and that will wrap up day five. Welcome to day six. Today looks like we're gonna be doing some more vocab, which is good because I need to work on that. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna set up like a vocab deck. And then honestly it was <laughs> cute and fun watching Peppa Pig in Portuguese yesterday. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna watch more kids shows. One time I found, when I was studying, like when I first started studying Italian, I found Barbie in Italian, like those like Barbie dream house episodes or whatever. Honestly, they were very entertaining. So I wonder if they have something similar for Brazilian Portuguese because I still feel like I need a lot of time listening to it because like the sounds really are just so different for me. But yeah, let's watch today's video and then do some vocab. So I finished watching some videos and doing some flashcards. I think, um, I don't know why I'm really struggling with it. I think I, it's a little hard when I'm trying to like read the words and understand how to pronounce them because I keep thinking in Italian of like how you pronounce something. So it's still a little bit difficult to figure out the pronunciation. Um, so I think I want to watch more videos about pronunciation. But again, it is interesting how many words when I see them written out I can figure out just because of Spanish and Italian. Um, like as far as vocab. And yeah, so so far it's nice. Like after being someone who self-studied Italian for a huge part of my Italian studying, it's nice to, to basically just every day have like your lesson or like what you should work on that day. Like basically your study routine mapped out for you because it was so difficult having to come up with this on my own. And now it's nice because every day I like have, I know what to focus on and I really like that. And I also like, cause it's like, they give you a video of like what you want to work on today and explaining some things about language learning, but then you get to decide like the resources you want to use and they give you really good resources, but you can also find things that you really like. So, you know, they don't necessarily have like exercises and worksheets for you to do, but like you get to immerse yourself in the language by watching stuff that you enjoy. So I think now since it's the weekend, I'm also just gonna really try to like watch a bunch of stuff this weekend and enjoy like finding more YouTube videos that I like, children's shows, um, and then also just like reviewing the Anki deck that I actually ended up downloading the one that was on the resource sheet, but I might consider also making my own deck. But yeah, that is it for today. And tomorrow we will be wrapping up week one.
So it is day seven and we have our first reflection on how the week went. So I was just watching the video for today and um, it was just going over like some questions to ask yourself so you can reflect on how this first week went. And that's something that I think is really important and I never really did when I was studying on my own, which is something I wish I did because it's really hard to see progress, especially later on once you advance. And it would be really nice to have like some ways to measure the progress that you made and also figure out things you should change or do differently um, in your study routine. Like in general, how things are going, I'd say there's a little bit of frustration <laughs> with um, just like obviously how it's hard to understand <laughs> because the way I've learned languages in the past is like doing like grammar textbooks and like grammar stuff right from the start. Um, and now, I mean, obviously when I watch YouTube videos in Italian and all that stuff, like I can understand. So I haven't been in the position where I've been watching something or listening to something and I can't understand and that frustration is really hard for me. But that's just something interesting like to notice about myself, I guess. I think something that I did learn though is like seeing things written out, like when I watch children's shows and stuff with Portuguese subtitles, I'm able to figure out a lot of words just because of like the spelling is similar to a combination of Spanish and Italian, so I can kind of guess in that way. Um, but yeah, just hearing it without any sort of subtitles, I'm like, I, I can't, I can't figure this stuff out. I definitely need to spend more time. Like that's, that's all I need is just spending more time reviewing vocabulary, watching more shows and watching more YouTube videos of people explaining like pronunciation, because I think that's going to be a huge thing. Obviously I'm not speaking yet, but it's something that I want to be able to like recognize the sounds of the language. Um, and that just like takes time and this week was a little busy just with work stuff and getting back on track Getting back into work as like, you know, the holidays are over So I just had I feel like a lot to do and I do want to make time for language learning But I would love to have more time to like actually um, You know like immerse myself in the language by watching shows and I also Realized that when it comes to vocabulary, I'm actually not the biggest fan of Anki. Like, I don't know, the interface of it is just not engaging to me. I know it is a really good tool, so I'm hoping that with time I will get more into it because it is good the way it like has you review and you know, you can like really review the ones that are hard for you. In school, I was always a Quizlet person. Like I used Quizlet for everything and I really liked it. Um, so maybe I might try to use Quizlet and like make my own uh, vocab list of like words that I'm encountering when I'm watching things and stuff like that. Because yeah, there's just something about Anki whenever I try to use it, I'm like, I don't know. I just I have to be honest. It's not my favorite, but I know for a lot of people, they really, really like it, but it's just, Maybe I just gotta stick with it. You know, I gotta keep going with it. We'll see, we'll see over these next few weeks. But yeah, today, since I have some time, it's like heading towards the end of the day, I will watch some more shows, um, watching more YouTube videos from some of the creators I talked about earlier who go over pronunciation and stuff like that. And then probably review, I would say, you know, like 10 vocab words. Like I think um, another day this week we did kind of like you know, slowly adding on more vocab words. So I definitely want to stick to that. And yeah, and then that wraps up week one. So let me know what you thought about this. I am trying to figure out how I want to do the format of this because it'll be for 30 days. Let me know for the following weeks if you want me to do like a day by day recap like I did in this video or kind of group some days together and you know, maybe I don't have to go necessarily every single day exactly what I'm doing because I think a lot of it is the same of like, you'll just watch me watching videos and pronunciation and stuff like that. So if there's like any interesting observations, I can share those as well. But let me know because I could still do day by day and it keeps me accountable because I'm like, ah, I have to do my <laughs> my lesson for today. But it is nice because I always have like, when I log on, I know exactly what I what, you know, my lesson plan basically is for the day. So that's nice. I don't have to like come up with stuff myself. Also, if you are looking to learn a language this year and you need some sort of roadmap or study routine, you can definitely join me on this challenge and go ahead and try Refold. I'll have the link in the description below because it could be fun 
for, you know, all doing it together and they do have a discord server so we can like chat with all other language learners. So it's a really good, nice community and a good way to have like a roadmap if you are self-studying. I think it really will set you up to have good language learning habits to continue even after the 30 days. I would say if you want to join me, definitely give it a try. If you've been thinking, even thinking about trying to learn a new language, now's the time. Now's the time, 2024. Thank you so much for watching my week one and I'm excited to see how it goes in the following weeks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss my future weeks of studying Brazilian Portuguese. Bye. Thank you.